Hey guys, welcome to Operation Fallen Druid. First time in a while that the roster has been strained, so we are exhausting a few soldiers. Five, to be precise. It shouldn't really count for much. They were, for the most part, at high fatigue times anyway, so it should just count as another mission, pretty much. I feel like there's an uncomfortably large chance I could have promoted Johnson before this mission. Definitely didn't check. Uh, that's okay, though. I also didn't bring the motion tracker. Okay. So we're still waking up a little bit. Uh, this is a great map. It's a little rectangle and we've got two buildings. One building, alleyway, another building. I like it more than the council mission map that's like this. I don't know why. I just like the buildings more, maybe. I like this building a lot. There's a completely walled off room with no windows in here, which we can head into and then control operations from. And that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm actually going to expose fog, fog of War down the left flank, which is a little bit aggressive. Okay. So the layout of the map makes it such that we can just move extremely aggressively through here. And the map is very small. It's not a large map. But you end up not being able to advance very quickly from this position that you get yourself in. Because you could easily be surrounded on three sides by aliens. In the position that we're in right now. So we're going to do some listening between turns and hopefully not hear too much mech. We hear Thin Men, we hear Meld. Okay, so I'm going to prepare my soldiers to take this room next turn. This is the first turn that we get an audio indicator coming up. Okay. You could definitely argue for leaving one of these doors shut. Oh my god, I have four squad high range soldiers. That's really sexy, but maybe not so useful on this particular map. Okay, what's happening? Thin men. Seeker pod that way. I think that's fairly clearly a seeker pod. So it looks like it's lots of Thin Men and Seekers, which is not a very terrifying alien loadout. Okay, we've got this room. Now there's a rooftop here, which we can get up to via this ladder. We could also have gone up to it straight away at the beginning of the mission. And there are doors out into the alleyway as well. This and this both open up. I'm gonna put my rocketeers in this little hole. Place infantry on either side of this door, and I'm going to try to sort of explode through these doors next turn. Um, I'm still playing this with meld in mind, even though it's a small map and I have no grenades and it's a swarming abduction. I think that the alien types that we've heard support us doing that. I'm going to start by putting Van Dorn on the roof. Oh my god, I've got three meld, I think. 
Okay, Van Dorn is flanked. Only momentarily, though. Oh, I do have grenades. What am I talking about? Got a ton of grenades. Um, I guess it would have been nice to have two people on this side. Well, if we're pulling more shit, I want to pull it now, I think. It'd be a little bit of a disappointment if this was all that we got to fight after making moves as aggressive as the moves I've made. That's more like it. Three thin men, four floaters. Specialist Rocketeers, man. 2.1 scatter is just not really going to cut it on that shot. Maybe I can just shoot the laser carbine, though. This is a nice extra cover piece to have. So at this point... Probably we don't want to pull more aliens still. 81% there, nice. Three different 100%s here. Okay. 66% at that. 68% here. It's got lots and lots of good shots I can take. Um, that seems like wishful thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna start with shots where like there isn't anything else I can imagine doing. So let's start with this shot. Nice. Let's make him dead. Ideally this turn, rather than next turn. Good. Just one down. Now my engineer is very spoiled for choice, but I think that the thing to do is kill this. Maybe I even use command to kill the floater as well. Whoa, there was an explosion. Longano will probably have a pretty good shot from here, I'm guessing. 91%, yeah. Uh, he's very unlikely to kill, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disabling shot that floater, most likely. Let's take these two shots. Oh, that's rude. There's another floater somewhere. Hmm. I am going to go ahead and use command. Let's blow this up, please. Good. I'm going to get a s disabling shot right here. Good. That's far more valuable than like dealing seven damage would have been. Let's 
Just gonna move here in Overwatch. My Rocketeers are not super useful right now. I actually think I can just flush this guy, probably. Crap. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm not gonna claim that I was planning for that to work quite like that, but I'll take it. Got one floater reloading. This guy's coming to flank. That hurts. Holy fuck, that hurts. Van Dorn's dead. Van Dorn's not dead. Oof! Okay. God bless Carapace armor. I don't know why Van Dorn's not dead. It's because, uh, line of sight isn't working properly. <laughs> well, I'll take it, I guess. Got a melt here. And a melt there. I thought there was a melt this way. Maybe I was, like, standing right here and I heard a melt in that direction. That would make some sense. So there are two pods still, and I have two soldiers on life support. So this is going to be fun. It's not even clear that I can deal with what's pulled this turn. Let's get Johnson upstairs. I think this is the guy who's... well, no, because I maybe want to run forward. No, Angano's got this, right? At this point, dealing 7? Shit. Okay. Well, now I can drop a grenade on him. Gonna move here with Eddie. Maybe it's more valuable to use the shotgun somewhere else. So maybe let's try to kill that floater okay. with the other guns we have available. It'd be real nice to hit one of these. I don't see how else this rocketeer can be useful. Yes, he is. Okay, let's move here. Got a 75 or a 67. Take the 75. Oh my god! If they shoot at me, I'm restarting the turn, by the way. Okay, they didn't shoot at me. That's fine, that's allowed. I honestly don't know how that just happened, because he hit his shot. What the fuck? The door opened, it didn't even explode. It didn't even explode. I have no idea what that was. It was some bullshit. Get hollow on this guy. I can't run my engineer at him through the acid, unfortunately. Which means I'm fucked. <laughs> also, unfortunately. Hmm, this is still heavy cover for some reason. I don't know what the reason is. High damage, please. Okay. Hard to expect much more than that. I just have these two left. Let's take the shotgun shot first. And now 
this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. If I get the meld on this mission, though, it's gonna be so worth it. What the fuck? I don't understand what just happened at all. Yeah, I, I legitimately have no idea why those sectoids just, like, pulled when they shouldn't have and then didn't take a turn. <sighs> well, the bugs giveth and they taketh away. I've got two turns to grab that meld. I think I might be able to just grab it right now, though. It would be sort of nice to get reloads in, not gonna lie. I would not mind that happening. I'm a little surprised that I can't see a sectoid from here. Maybe from this position I'd be able to. Move my Rocketeers up. This is the sort of mission where I'd be shooting two rockets a turn, but I like went ahead and didn't. Didn't even steady rockets. Okay, I'm gonna steady a rocket on either side of the store, I think. This would not be a terrible time for lock and load to exist. This is like a, a poster child for the strength of lock and load this mission. I think that Van Doren moves here and shoots. With heat ammo, this will kill the drone. Nice. And drinks are on Peter. Now I need to be grabbing that meld next turn. Hopefully that's doable. I don't really want to look around here right now, so I'm not going to take this square. Um, this square might actually be the right one to be at. Put my engineer here, though. So next turn I can advance behind a grenade and potentially two rockets. Next turn I'm pretty strong I think. Might as well take this shot. Pop! Oh this is enough sectoid corpses for the autopsy as well. Okay I get to breathe. Whew. That floater and thin man activation was a little bit uncontrolled. But this is what we do for meld. Okay, I'm glad I have two rockets steadied. Good panic resist. That's gonna lower her accuracy though. It's a considerable debuff, mind fray. Don't really wanna see overwatches, and I don't. Okay, why is this rocket so inaccurate? Okay, so it's very, very likely to get through here without a problem. That's good. It just might not make it through the next door. It might hit the left side of the next door. There's also the rarest, rarest chance that it kills my own soldiers. Got uncomfortably close. Okay, well I've had worse rockets. Not by that much. 
Actually, that one wasn't even that bad. Holy shit, they're all flanked. So I just need to clear out overwatches, I think. Let's try a dash to here. Looks like we're good. I hope we're good. Let's go here. Oh dear. I wanted to hit that one. Again. Just acided a sectoid. So who were the silent pods I was hearing? That's weird. I'm like pretty sure there's somebody overwatching over here. Maybe I don't get this meld. It does seem a little bit brazen to go for that meld. Let's drop this sectoid. So right now I'm looking at three sectoids and a thin man. Am I really going to let those stand in the way of my meld? Maybe. I just think there's a sectoid on Overwatch over here. I don't actually see him though. It's really uncomfortable. Hmm, I can just dash to here and find out. Okay, so let's just dash Johnson here. I was right. I wish I was wrong. <laughs> These mechs had better be worth it, is all I'm going to say. So the idea behind all of this was dependent on this being effective. I can now get rid of this guy's cover and deal some good damage to him. And with any luck, Van Dorn will just kill him. But if not, I have my scout available. Okay, sectoids are both flanked, and I'm hoping that enough of their pod died that they're going to run away. I'd better take this shot. Here, that's better. Okay, I th think they're gonna run. This guy's acided at best. 24%. Is this real? What a jackass sectoid. Alright, uh, let's get rid of this cover and end the mission. We've got one turn left on that melt can. Don't want to blow up the corpse.
I'm gonna try to effectively use all of my soldiers here, but it's a little hard. <laughs> uh, no bullets. Let's get Olivia Hall here. Actually, maybe she should be... Well, it's too late. I was going to say, maybe she should be hollow targeting the nearer sectoid. Alright, and I can just walk up and flank the last one. Man, that was fun. That was fun. That was irresponsible and ridiculous, but mechs aren't going to pay for themselves. And we got three mouth canisters there, and also made a very large mess, which is great. Van Dorn's out for 21 days. He's up to tech sergeant, though. That gets him double tap? Rapid fire? Actually, yeah, I think that I want rapid fire on huh no I don't he's eventually going to be using an LMG which can't move and shoot so rapid fire is just worse than double tap I think at that point so I'm going to go with double tap 4, 48, 77 5, 52, 78 not bad bad at all. So we Fletcher gets Heat Warheads, 3, 33, 70, and hopefully some aim. 3, 36, 72, nope. Mission Nguyen's up to Sergeant, 5, 53, 71, 2, 6, 59, 72. My engineers are doing well this campaign. Lots of wounds. Uh, definitely could have been worse. Could have been deaths there. 28 meld. Does that mean there was another can? No, I got eight three times and four residual meld. I'll take it. Okay, I'm going to hold on to these 120 credits to buy some more interceptors at the start of next month. Asia's not actually going to have satellites over it until a couple of days in, so I can put more interceptors over North America to start the month and then buy two new ones for Asia. I think I want to keep six intact interceptors on each continent, which means that I am going to need to buy quite a few more interceptors here. Um, like, on average, I should need to buy six more interceptors if the aliens aren't getting stronger, which they are. So next month, interceptors are going to be a bit of spending and I probably won't buy more interceptors for a very very long time possibly the entire game depending on if I like get any shot down which hopefully won't happen but can happen that's the end of the month there aren't any more missions which are allowed to happen I'm gonna actually scan on July the 2nd not July the 4th did some more reading and realized that the fact that there's another cell on the map, so there there are two cells right now, or there were the last mission, I cleared one, but there was one left. The fact that there is a cell on the map means that I need to scan seven days after the mission to ensure that they don't do anything nasty to me. Okay. Transfer complete. So do I need to fix anything else? Ages, four out of six. The laser cannon and five stingrays is pretty good. This laser cannon's going to North America. I'm gonna have to, yeah, okay. I have eight hours and I have to do some more transferring. Got three days to fix the roster. That's gonna look great after three days. That's not a problem. I would like to bring some more rookies on some more missions next month, but overall we're pretty close to not bringing any more rookies. I'm not gonna buy more. Eight carapace armors, we got a laser cannon ready to go, transfer to Asia, I guess. So I only need one more. Asia's definitely 
understaffed. I think that since I only have two countries in Asia, though, there will be fewer interceptors there on average. I think that's how it works. Or fewer UFOs there on average. Yes! I still need lots of engineers. I need, like, lots of engineers. I appreciate your efforts to 38 scientists and 21 engineers. <laughs> That's what happens when you start xenobiology, I guess. There's also been a little bit of variance involved. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like at the beginning of next month. All the transfers are done. So we've got a couple of week out. And then the rest are between 10 and 18 days away. Phoenix Cannon will be ready to go real soon. Asia's looking okay. Alright. Wait, what aircraft just returned to service? Oh, okay. okay, okay. We have alien computers letting us build a satellite nexus, which uh, gives us capacity for two satellites plus one for each adjacency bonus instead of one satellite. So we need three of these and three of the satellite uplinks. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to hold off. These require increments of 20 engineers to build the next one. So if I waited to build this, since I don't need another satellite uplink ever in the game, theoretically, it would require me to go all the way up to 40 engineers, which could take a real long time. Um, or I could just go straight for an uplink as soon as I get the opportunity. That's very pretty. Look at all those things I can research. And they're all, all blue. I think Xenogenetics is going to be next, and I have to decide whether I want to go for mechs or Psy first. Probably mechs. Advanced Aerospace Concepts is worth noting. Uh, that opens up a lot of valuable foundry projects to help our interceptors out. I think that we're going to get UFO countermeasures off uh, technologies toward mechs though, so I'll grab that first. 12 days slow research time. 12 days is not slow for advanced aerospace concepts. Silly, silly game. Yeah, our research is taking along real nice. We're almost at a point where we could research these in like less time than it takes for the missions to expire when we shoot them down. So we could like wait until we shoot down a scout and then research this to get more alloys and Illyrium out of it. Maybe I should actually grab these right now. Fighter Raider, at least. To help our UFOs out next month. I'm really uncomfortable about... Or help our interceptors out next month. I am very uncomfortable about our interceptors. It slows down my mechs, but that's pretty okay. My mechs are still developing even if I don't get them out as quickly as possible, because the soldiers who are going to turn into mechs are still gaining experience right now. My soldiers on the ground are doing okay. Okay, yeah, let's actually do the UFO analyses then. Get Raider first, then Fighter. I'm going to leave Scout for later. If they send lots of Scouts, I'm not too upset, right? Oh uh, boy. Do I have chem grenades that I can build? In 16 days. Okay, that's a long time. I could build another scope right now. I'm going to build one of these and like around when it finishes I'll start building another and I'll start the advanced scope project probably. 
this stage of the game, all the pre-worked out perfect plans start to fall apart and you, well, at least for me, I start to operate more heuristically, like trying to allocate the right proportions of research to the thing which helps my air game most and the right proportions of research and materials and for air game materials as well. So the right proportions of research and material to air game and infrastructure and infrastructure being like foundry projects and the base buildings and uh, ground game. So you have to work out who needs the money most and what the most effective way is to improve it. I didn't phrase that well at all. One more hour for the other satellite. Let's launch over China. Now I can sell more corpses for more money. And I'm going to launch over India next. I just barely got these satellites started in time. <laughs> very, very, very barely. Okay, so that bumps me up to a respectable plus $16 per month. I am about to lose Nigeria though, so we'll be down to negative $1 per month. Very unfortunate. As you can see, my organization is reeling at its lack of resources and etc. <coughs> uh, yeah, got 302 meld banked. It's going okay. So, I think that's that. Oh, I have to, because I'm like anal or attentive about this, I'm going to check the resources, but there's no way that they even changed, right? There's still 82. Yeah. And threat level, did it get up to 10? 9 still. So I don't gain threat level from doing abductions, apparently. <laughs> Nigeria's gone. I don't remember losing a UFO that month. Was it like at the beginning of the month a raider just barely got away? Oh, I destroyed a raider at the beginning of the month. That's not getting away though. Maybe an abductor abducted over a country I have a satellite on and those count as escaping for some reason if they start the abduction, I think. I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed June, and I'll see you next time for the beginning of July, which is going to be a pretty fierce month, I have a feeling. All right, I'll see you there.